Hi students, how are you? I am your teacher Sajad Bacha. Today I am going to explain and to highlight the most important MCQs which are frequently asked by the paper sitters in various exams to evaluate the understanding and comprehension of English language. Dear students, uh, MCQs in this video, you will learn about the subject having the title of Methods of Teaching of English. English is an international language. It is applied in the prestigious jobs and it is the sign of prestige and honor all over the world. So, let's start with the MCQs which are repeatedly occurred in various tests. The first MCQ is the means of communication is language. Man cannot live alone he always needs communication and communication is the process of exchanging the views, ideas, concept and planning with other people. So the means of communication is language. Second, the three functions of language are directive, directive means use for guidance, informative, sharing the information and declarative. Declarative means uh, which is used for making announcement. Three, the fundamental thing in language learning is speech. Speech is the fundamental proof of learning. If a person is having a lot of knowledge but they are unable to express that learning is useless. Speech is the mark of personality and it is the proof of knowledge and information. Four, language is a system of phonetics, grammar and vocabulary. These are the three, this is known as the trica of English. The first thing is phonetics. Phonetics deals with the sounds, grammar, rules and vocabulary. 5. The regional varieties of language are called dialects. Dialects are the varieties of language which are spoken in different regions. For example, the language of one region is different in stress, intonation, pitch from one another. So, regional languages is also known as dialects. Six, English is spoken by 400 million people in the world. Seven, active cognitive processing is involved in listening. Listening is the foremost, it is the most important language skill in listening in which Cognitive or cognition means the use of mind is not involved, that listening is non productive. Eight, learning a language is a matter of skill. Nine, the system of constructing words is called morphology. Morphology is the branch of linguistic which is concerned with the formation of uh, words. Ten, Language learning is speeded up by motivation. Motivation is a process in which the unwillingness of the learner is changed into willingness. So motivation is very much necessary. 11. Practice in pronunciation drill is necessary in language teaching. Pronunciation means the art of pronouncing a word and it is a very pro great problem in Pakistan. 
try the rules and principles of language are formulated by grammar grammar is the mother of rules as it is derived from grammar grammar means rules that is speaking skill is productive there are four skills l s r w listening speaking reading and writing out of these two are taken as productive and uh, two are taken as receptive receptive skills means when we intake something in productive skills when we produce something in grammar translation method gtm stands for grammar translation method speech of the learner is neglected grammar translation method is teacher centered teacher is performing all the activities he is communicating with the students but in response the students are passive 15 teaching english in gtm is by rule grammar translation method is also known as uh, rules based method 16 direct method makes use of aviates this is the good method because aviates are used in 8 17 using flash cards in classroom is a technique definitely it is a technique because when the teacher knows the exact in the most uh, correct type of the display of the flash cards then that usage of flash card will be effective and flash card should be displayed for uh, maximum 7 to 10 seconds 18 english in pakistan is taught as subject and the, the 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 dilemma is that the students of pakistan are unable to uh, develop their fluency they they have a lot of knowledge in their minds but they are unable to communicate with other people four p's are the elements of lesson planning it is used in herbergian lesson plan smart s m a r t is the abbreviation used for educational objective smart means simple measurable attainable realistic and time bound L S R W is used for language skill, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Twenty-two. Pedagogy means to educate the child. Pedagogy is the method of teaching to children. Andragogy is the opposite of pedagogy, in which teaching is made to the adults. Twenty-three. The use of technology. to enhance learning process is called ICT information communication technology 24 which is not tool of formative assessment projects projects are not the tools used for formative assessment 25 the journey from specific to general is inductive method 26 interactive listening is based on principles of listening and response responding interaction means in which uh, party a and party b are involved there is passive passive listening passive listening is that listening in which a learner only listen but do not respond and interactive listening is that type of listening in which not only the listener is uh, listening but responding as well 27 the study of meaning in a language is the is called syntax syntax is the branch of linguistic which is concerned with the uh, nature of meaning the tool of vocabulary is anagram anagram means for example uh, we have the word e a t this is a word e but i can make another word up it that is called t so the change of e into t that is called anagram and anagram is the tool of uh, vocabulary 
Then 29, the study of sounds is called phonology. It is phonology. It is the branch of phonetics. 30, the scientific study of language is called linguistics. Linguistics is the science, scientific study of human language. 31, English has 26 letters in 44 sounds. Out of these 26 letters, 5 are vowels and 21 are consonants. So, dear students, uh, it is uh, a very much informative video. You people should uh, go through it, watch it, and pass your comments and try to prepare it for the upcoming exam. Thank you very much.